identity of the challengers together? How can we build stronger linkages in cooperation through multilateral cooperation? Are there new and better ways to combat maritime threats in our region? Let us therefore use this opportunity to reinforce our institutional and personal networks and friendship among ministers, among senior officials, among navies, among coast guards, and related agencies. La CEI qui s'est fortement investie au sein de l'ex CGPCS, notamment auprès des présidents séchelloises, mauriciennes et kenyanes du groupe, reste engagée et prête à collaborer étroitement avec le CGIMA dans le cadre de notre architecture régionale de sécurité maritime. The Indian Ocean is home to diverse and unique ecosystems, including coral reef and marine biodiversity. Its waters are essential for the world's food security and the conservation of vulnerable species. On this note, allow me, Mr. Prime Minister, to congratulate you and the government of Mauritius for being among the first countries to sign last September the agreement under the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea on the conservation and sustainability of marine biological diversity of areas beyond national. The past two ministerial conferences in 2018 and 2019 have been instrumental in preparing the ground for us to act together. Unfortunately, unforeseen and unprecedented challenges have prevented us from meeting earlier. It is therefore important that we build on and leverage on the outcomes of these conferences. A very critical issue on our agenda is the threat of maritime incidents at sea, including oil spills. The threat is omnipresent given that the Indian Ocean is an important transit route for maritime traffic. And uh, needless for me to mention the unfortunate incident of the grounding of the MV Wakashu in Mauritius has been in fact a wake-up call for all of us. And therefore, have to do the emergence of a collective mechanism for prevention and preparedness against marine pollution in the region. The recent oil spill simulation exercise organized by the Indian Ocean Commission in collaboration with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Regional Integration and International Trade has provided a solid foundation for establishing a regional and international framework to face oil spills. And Mauritius is looking forward to host the next ministerial conference on drugs and substance abuse next year, which will allow us to follow up on the current recommendations. As regards wildlife trafficking, it is worrying to note that illegal trafficking and unsustainable trade are causing unprecedented declines in some of our planet's most charismatic as well as in some lesser known wildlife species. I hope that there has been a good response to the commendable initiative of the Indian Ocean Commission and traffic a leading non-governmental organization which organized a regional meeting in January this year and also proposed an action plan to address the issue. It is therefore essential that the deliberations of this meeting result in strengthened coordination and synergies. You may rest assured of the support of the government of Mauritius in this endeavor we also rely on the international community for their continued support in maintaining the Indian Ocean as a peaceful and secure place. On this note, it is my pleasure to declare this ministerial conference open and I wish you fruitful deliberations and look forward to concrete and actionable recommendations.